<laughs> Where are they from? Do we know? Yes. Uh, Sport Tones, right? Uh, Colorado. Uh, Bill Wright, the man with the headband, we can see right now, is um, Fort Collins, Colorado, another one of the Coloradicals. And he's also currently the director of the Freestyle Players Association. Here we go. The music has started. It is right and imperiale right now. Going to work. Rolling, rolling, rolling. That's what they like to do. They're big into it all right, for openers. We're looking for a first catch. There it is. I'm Bruce Flanders. And the other voice you hear is Craig Simon. And Craig has been helping to structure this whole event tournament, especially this part of it, Craig. And it's apparently been one of the highlights of the whole weekend is the way a lot of people look at it, right? Yeah, well, I, I really enjoy freestyle. I think a lot of people do. That's usually what brings the crowd out. Uh, it's uh, the gymnastics side of Frisbee. It's very artistic, very creative. And we're seeing uh, some of the people who have had a important hand in creating the sport of freestyle itself. Bill Wright just threw the disc as the head of the Freestyle Players Association. Larry Imperiali with the disc right now. One of the more inventive players in the game. Uh, we haven't seen it yet, but he'll be doing some some strange brushing. He likes to work with the disc when it's at a very steep vertical angle. Go with some, some careful moves here and a very clean barrel catch. Flying through the air. Larry now tipping, turning. The disc is flat. Larry's most comfortable when the disc is at an angle like it is right now. Three rolls, four rolls, five on a back roll. Look at all that contact. In inverted, a little wobble, a little wobble. Mm, couldn't get it back. Swinging, tipping, delaying behind the back. Disc isn't doing much magical for them, so they all have to do it themselves. The disc is, oh, look at that. Put some, put some spin on that disc, but it couldn't keep it in place with this foot tap. Beautiful, uh, almost a cartwheel flared by Bill. Larry pulling behind his back, going against the spin. There it is, very steeply angled again. Larry couldn't hang on. Larry is really having trouble today. That's they're, too bad. They're actually quite lucky that it's the breeze isn't blowing pretty hard, right? That would kind of confuse this show. Well, just as long as the breeze is coming from the same direction, uh, I think these gentlemen are familiar enough with uh, breezes to be able to work with that. Um, in fact, I've seen Larry especially play... Um, very, very well in wins where other people couldn't even get their throws in place. That's just uh, knowledge of the disc. Larry's having problems today. That's too bad. These people who just won the last major tournament in California, the United States Open in La Mirada, California. So now they're smiling. I figure they'll just have a good time and see how much more they can catch. But they know they haven't got a winning routine now. There are, I think, too many drops unless something really spectacular happens. Nicely done co-op, keeping it together, and a guidus catch. The kind of lighting that we have right now with a gray sky, that's an advantage over a glaring sun, wouldn't it? Well, if you're, especially if you're playing a long time, uh, they're not as likely to get fatigued. You know, another guidus catch. Uh, yeah, and also, with, since uh, Larry especially likes to work with the disc at a steeply vertical angle, he won't have to be as greatly concerned with uh, having his view of the disc obscured by the sun. Bill caught the disc, but not his headband. I don't know what kind of deduction the judges will make for that. Turbo roll into a, we call a scarecrow brush, very difficult. Bill working the disc, rolling it, brushing, keeping the position. One of his patented rolls, I don't know what he does to change the angle like that at the last moment, but it creates an eerie visual effect. The crowd really responded to it also. Larry tipping high, kicking, tipping, still going, keeping it under control to the roll, inverted roll. It's rolling still. Kick brush. Hooping, oh, that's... He that's, makes that look real simple, doesn't he? Oh, uh, that one uh, can short circuit a normal person's brain. That, it's a hard one to figure out, but he's able to do them with uh, great facility. 
Well done, guide us by Bill. Here's another co-op. Very consecutive. Go with a little helpful tap back to Larry. Kicking. Oh, that one didn't work. Larry, I think, meant to kick that one up. Maybe they'll try it again. I don't know. Nope. Uh -oh. It's not uh -oh. working for them. Each drop, each time the disc hits the ground, uh, the execution judges take off 0.3 We've from the perfect of score of 10. We've and then minor bobbles, like the one we just saw on that kick, might take off uh, 0.1 or 0.2. And there's another 0.3. So that's the end of their routine. They don't look too pleased with it. No, they're in trouble, but they, losing comes with winning. It's an Imperiale. Win a few, lose a few. We'll see what the judges do to their scores in just a little while.